everyone, welcome back to another Python challenge. We're still back at our little Python programming kind of riddle that we have online here. We just finished the fifth challenge, now we're moving on to the sixth challenge. Uh, we're on channel.html. And uh, there is nothing on the page other than... Uh, I don't even know what this is. <laughs> A picture of uh, someone's fly? <laughs> what is this? Uh, there's a donate button down here. Um, let's take a look at the source. View page source. And, uh, the title is Now There Are Pairs. Uh, I don't know what that means, but I'll find out, I guess. And uh, the image is simply the image. I don't think there's anything more to that. Um, and there's a comment here that the following has nothing to do with the riddle itself. It'd be a, the right point to ask you to donate. Nice. Okay, yeah, that's that's super nice. Hey, uh, special request to all you guys watching. I guess it would be pretty cool if we donated. So, keep that in mind as you go through the series, I guess. I don't know. I don't see any hints here, <laughs> like, whatsoever. Um, there's literally nothing about the challenge being stated. Um, what do you guys think? Six... Oh hey, look at the look look at the top here. There's a HTML tag for declaration, because I mean obviously this is HTML, it should be. And there's a comment like literally right after it, normally where a doc type would be. There's a comment of zip. What is that supposed to mean? Other than the fact that there's a person's fly on the screen right now. Zip. There there could be zip files. And this is this is an HTML file, channel.html. Ooh, ooh, I wonder. Hang on, hang on. Go up to the URL bar and change HTML to zip. Hey, yep, yep, that file exists. All right, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna save it in my desktop as usual. And let's take a look at it. All right, this is a uh, my. Video recording thing, and there's our zip file. Let's take a look. Oh, <laughs> uh, um, that's a <laughs> that's a lot of text files. What are you, what are you guys doing? Look at this. Look at this. Nine. Oh, <laughs> all right. Go away, Winrar. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Nine hundred and ten files of just text files. Holy crap! Look at the size of my scroll bar. That is absurd. And they're just all numbered. This is like the uh, this is like the linked list challenge. This is like challenge number four or something. All right, I'm gonna hit the end button. See, all the way at the end. Okay, there is a readme file. Take a look at this. Welcome to my zipped list. <laughs> Thanks. Hint one: start from nine thousand and fifty-two. Ninety thousand fifty-two. Sorry. Answer is inside the zip. Okay, that's a plus. So we don't have to do anything else. Um. Do we, like, want to extract all this stuff? I mean, I guess... I feel like we should. I'm gonna create a new folder. Um... Zipped. Zipped. <laughs> and, uh, let's just extract literally, like, everything in there. There's the source. There's the zip file. Extract everything to zipped. And... Gonna take a few seconds. Moving it all. Okay, that wasn't that bad. I mean, they're all text files, so they should happen pretty quickly. There are 910 of them, but... Alright, look, it's given, Windows Explorer is going to give us a nice little preview. Next nothing is 29888, so... Huh. Okay. Let's see what we find. Start to write some code to go through this. Um, I should resave my... Python file into the zipped, zipped one. Okay. So let's start, I guess. Um, first equals open. They said start with nine thousand, ninety thousand fifty-two, right? Dot text. And contents equals first dot read. Print contents. Then we'll just close. I guess first I close. 
Next nothing is that thing. Okay. What we'll do is I guess we'll do a loop or a function. Uh, define next nothing. So we'll have kind of like a similar setup to our linked list challenge, challenge number four. Um, and the argument should be file name. Um, open file name. Oh, sorry. File name is a variable, and then we can. Yeah, I should I should be able to close it once I'm done. Handle dot close. Contents equals. Ah, da, 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 da. File name dot read. Next can equal contents dot split. And we'll split it like uh, by the spaces, and we'll get the very last one with like Python indexing. And if we print next, we'll see what we're doing here. And now we'll just use this next nothing function on the first one that we wanted nine zero zero five two dot text. String has no object read. Oh, sorry, the handle dot read, not not a uh, not file name. Sorry, guys. And then, okay, it says the next one is that. So what we can do, we can just go next nothing with next and get a little recursive uh, recursive function there. What we'll do is we'll print that next and we'll keep moving. Oh, yeah, and we need to add a dot text at the end of it. And our opening file name. Let's go. Oh, boy. Okay, that went through a whole lot of stuff. What do we got here? And then it stopped at 36542. I probably like went through too many files. Too many files, 36542. <laughs> All right, that's cool. I mean, I don't mind. Let's take a look at the 36542. 36 Is that a thing? Is 36542 a, a file? 36542. What if I search for it? 36. Yeah, okay, yeah it is. And then it just keeps going, okay. So, let's try one more time. Comments.txt. Ooh, ooh hoo hoo. Wait, there's an extra period there. That means that it wasn't supposed to have a, uh, it wasn't supposed to have that, that one there. We're getting somewhere. What do we get here? Comments. So the last, pre the previous one we were at was 46145. Let's check this out. 46145. Collect the comments? What does that mean? What comments? Were there comments in all of these things? Uh, I don't think so. 46145. Is that like part of Python challenge 46145.html? Nope. That's not real. <laughs> what do I do? in here in cuz there's only one common in this fi in this like in the prompt i guess maybe some of these things like actually have comments in them I'm looking over at the preview on the side of the Windows D Explorer and I don't see anything whatsoever. Unless like it the file comes with anything.
What if I... Alright, I'm going to backtrack one more time. Let's go back to our uh, Python thing here. Our Python code. Seven, six, seven, eight. And then it just goes where it needs to be. Crap, I don't know what it means. I don't know what to do. Hey, wait a second. Collect the comments. Zip files have, like, comments built into them, don't they? <sighs> yeah, I remember now. Alright, I'm probably going to need to open up some documentation for this, because we're going to need to use Python zip file uh, module. Import zip file. And... Okay. Python zip file. Zip file objects. File. Get info. Get info on a name. Huh. What does this function do? Zip info. Zip info. I know that stores, like, information. Or info list. Okay, hey. So, okay, zip file can open. Zip file can open files, so that works pretty well for us. We can just pass that into, uh... Let's say that the... <coughs> zip equals... Yeah, the zip equals zip file dot zip file with channel dot zip and I'll just bring the uh, zip file into the zipped folder so that way we can like actually see the zip file and handle equals the zip Open. Extract a member from the archive. Um, and then we can read from it. Can't we? Yeah. Let's try it. Yep. Okay. That works just fine. So we are we are opening them, and now we need to be able to get the comments because I know that each file can be stored with a comment, right? In in a zip file, and those are stored in the info. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at this. Okay, zip file dot comment. The comment text is associated with zip file. If assigning to a comment, zip file is created with the mode. Um, what do I do with that? Is it for each and every? Object? Let's try print. The zip. Yeah, print the zip, the zip file, get info on the file name, which would be next in this case. And then we can get the comment from that, can't we? Check it out. No. Oh yeah, we gotta add our gotta add our text file suffix. Hey! I saw some stuff there. Oh ho! Okay, we're getting letters, we're getting letters. And stars and stars and stuff. Let's add this to a list. Comments. Go 
equals this. Comments dot append. And we should start, I think, back at the beginning. Let's go 9, uh, 9,052, where we were. Now let's go. Too many files. Yep. Why is it doing that? Why does it... I feel like there's got to be an easier way that I don't have to, like, open or read all of them. Let's check it out. Let me see. I feel like there's got to be a way within a... in the zip file to, like, just get info rather than open the file up. Uh, read. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, all it does is just read. So, let's try that. Next equals handle. Because now it's just getting the text for us. So I'll just change that to text. And then we don't have to close it. Does this work for us? Yep. Okay. And now we got super duper far. And all the comments have been added. So let's check out... At the very end, let's check out the comments. but we got to stop that error from occurring, so... If... Next. I think is digits... Is that a, is that a function? Will that work for us? No. I know that's a... Uh, I'm going to fire up idle and check it out. I know... Uh, like, is digit is all num. Right. Yeah. Maybe that's what I want. Alright, whatever. I'll just test it <laughs> if it's not comments. If next does not equal comments. <laughs> Super, like, brute force way of, of programming here, but you know, that's, that's the way we get it done with Python challenge. Check it out. And... Oh yeah, I should have been doing this all along. Uh, maybe that maybe that was working to begin with, and I was just missing the line. Whatever. Let's roll. Hey, there we go. Okay. We get our list of comments, and they're all yeah, they're all in the array. So I know we can use a uh, here for comment in comments. Oh, I should learn to type. Print that comment and no new line. Whoa! What? <laughs> Hockey upside down. Can I reverse it? I wonder if. Reversed. I wonder if that'll actually change the way it is. Yeah, wow, okay. Hockey! Um. <laughs> Let's take a look at that in Python Challenge. Maybe that's our key. Maybe that's the next flag. Oxygen. Ah, you guys caught me. All right, so take a look at this. Hockey is spelled with oxygen. Look at these letters. O-X-Y-G-E-N. Hockey, what do you think that would have given us? Probably like a little or another hint, like, no, you're an idiot. Take a look at the letters. It's in the air. Look at the letters. <laughs> Seriously. O X Y G E N. Would you guys have been able to catch that? I know I didn't for for a long time. Oxygen. And that's our next challenge, number seven. So, cool. Well, we finally got through it. I know that one was kind of rough. That one that one pretty much sucked, but it's over now. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, hope you were able to at least bear with me. I'll see you in the next video.